Namaste. This is session three of the Inspire Living series on Pranayama, where you will come to experience the power of your breath through yogic breath work. There is a previous session and introduction to this series, which you should watch before practicing this one, as the sessions build on one another. It will also help you to understand these practices and the science behind them on a much deeper level. In the previous session, we practiced Sama Vritti, which was equal breath, where we controlled the inhalation and exhalation of the breath. In this session, we will introduce Kumbhak, which is a yogic retention of breath, where the breath is held. So let's explore some of the effects of Kumbhak on the body and mind. When the breath is held, the oxygen levels in the body decrease and the carbon dioxide levels in the body increase. When carbon dioxide levels in the brain increase, neurons start firing off impulses, stimulating the body to breathe. With this constant firing of neurons, an immense amount of nervous energy builds up. It then forces new neuronal pathways to form, activating dormant centers within the brain. So during a yogic retention of air, you are literally illuminating the brain and awakening dormant centers. When carbon dioxide levels in the brain increase, it also forces the capillaries in the brain to dilate, so they expand. And this leads to more circulation in the brain and a feeling of expansiveness. There is also a thin membrane between both hemispheres of the brain, which becomes active during a yogic kumbhak, a retention of air. Information starts to be exchanged between the two hemispheres. So during a yogic kumbhak, both hemispheres of the brain are activated. Also, when the breath is held, there is a sine wave that is produced within the brain. A sine wave is a very slow, S-shaped brain wave that is otherwise only experienced during deep states of meditation. So in this practice, we will begin with equal breath, and then we will introduce the kumbhak. The kumbhak will have three stages of an equal duration of breath, the inhalation, the retention, and the exhalation. So let's get ready to practice. Come into a comfortable seated posture so that you can remain still for the next few minutes. And what is most important is that the spine remains straight. When you are ready, gently close the eyelids and imagine that there is a balloon on a string attached to the top of your head and it's slightly pulling you upward so that the spine is straight. I want you to take a deep inhalation and as you exhale, feel all the tensions leaving the body. Another deep inhalation. And as you exhale, feel the cares and worries leaving the mind. Another deep inhalation. And as you exhale, allow yourself to surrender to this present moment and practice. Become aware of the natural breath in the body. Notice with every inhalation, the body slightly expands. 
With every exhalation, the body contracts. And for a moment, just witness this natural expansion and contraction with every breath. Now I want you to begin counting your natural inhalation and exhalation using yogic counting. So as you inhale, count OM 1, OM 2, OM 3, to whatever the natural duration of your inhale is. And then as you exhale, count OM 1, OM 2, Om three to whatever the duration of your natural exhale is. Discover the count of your natural inhalation and exhalation with yogic counting. Very good. Now, whatever the count of your natural inhalation is at this time, I want you to keep that count. Whether it is an OM3 or an OM4, this will be your count for the duration of the practice. We will begin with the pranayama controlling the exhalation and inhalation equally using your count now. As you inhale, count OM1, OM2, OM3 to whatever your count was and then equally count the exhale the same count Om one, om two, om three, to whatever the count was. Continue with the practice of equal breath. Controlling the inhalation and exhalation using yogic counting. Very good. We will now introduce the practice of Kumbhak. So you will inhale to that same count, then hold the breath for that same count, then exhale with that same count. It is a three-part process of inhaling, holding the breath, and exhaling. 
Begin with your next inhalation using yogic counting, whatever your count. Om one, om two, om three, whatever the count. Then hold the breath, the same count. Om one, om two, om three, whatever your count is. And then exhale the same count. Om one, Om two, Om three, continue with the practice. Inhaling your yogic count, holding the breath, the same count, and then exhaling to the same count. Equal duration of inhalation, retention, and exhalation of breath. Continuing with the practice. Very good, let go of all of your efforts in yogic counting and feel the effects of the practice on the body and mind. The heart beating breath are slower. The mind is more still feel expanded. And when you're ready, gently open the eyelids. So, as with Sama Vritti, equal breath, in the previous session. You can begin with the process of breath awareness, finding what your natural capacity is at this time. And then start with that count in this practice. So three parts, inhaling, 
retention, and exhale to that count. Practice that until it is so comfortable and so at ease. You should never feel that you need to take a breath between rounds. If that is the case, go down a mantra account and let it be comfortable until you can develop that smooth breath and ease of the retention. Then increase the mantra, the count, one mantra. So if you had began it at OM3, then do it at an OM4, those three parts, inhaling, retention, exhaling. Again, wait till you get to do that practice and that count with such comfort and ease. It should be like a meditation. Then, when that moment comes, extend it to another mantra. So, in OM5. Pranayama should be done after your practice of asana, which is postures. I hope you are enjoying this spiritual journey through the breath, and may your daily spiritual practice be blessed. Hari Om Tat Sat.